Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to write a Jenkins job to clear a dispatcher cache. So as part of this tutorial, I'll talk about how to create a freestyle job and inside that I'll write a curl command to clear a dispatcher cache. So let me create a job and let's say it AM cache clear and it will be a freestyle job. Let's say OK. And I don't have any code base because I'm not building any code. So git source code management is none. And as I'm not building any code, so I'm not choosing this delete workspace before build starts. So straight away, I'll jump to the build step here. Choose execute shell. Here inside execute shell, I'll write a curl to clear my dispatcher cache. So what I'm saying here in this curl, so what I'm saying curl and my header is if I say hyphen H, that means it's a header. CQ action is delete. CQ handle is my path. So in CQ handle, you can give the path where you want to clear that cache. There is a one more header CQ path. We'll talk about that in dispatcher series tutorials and the rest of the things are content length and the type. So important part is this. So where I want to clear that cache. So my Apache is running on 127.0.01 port 80 and I will touch this. So what happened whenever this curl will execute, it will go there and give the command to clear cache under this path means for this site. So before I trigger that job, so this is my cache for AEM geeks. If you see my, uh, my cache is for the EN side, this much of the cache I have. And if I trigger this, let me trigger this now. So if you see this is successful, even I go there and check the output you will see this executed and it's a success. So it is saying this comma, this curl executed this whole this is the final curl so if i check my dispatcher log so see this request started from here so it found farm file found farm farm flush for this ip address so how it is execute so whenever any request comes in to your dispatcher they, there is a virtual host match so as as per the virtual host map there one form file which is picked based on that form file this ex actions are executed so uh, if you remember as part of dispatcher series i created four form files three for the sites and one for the dispatcher cache clear so let me show that so let me go to my dispatcher files and this is my apache and if i go here conf dispatcher d these my available files so what happened whenever that request comes in it will pick my this one this file why this so if you open this and if you see this entry here in virtual host so these files means virtual host will be picked based on your domain or the request is coming from so my request is coming from this 12.0.01 and so based on that this file will be picked right this form file will be picked and now whatever the instructions I wrote inside this node will execute so what I'm saying okay my doc root is this stat file level is 8 I'll explain this in my dispatcher tutorials I'm going to resume that soon so what happened till level 0 and till level 8 whatever the cache is there that will be cleared okay so I'll talk about these so important part is how to pick that form file and I, that's why I write a specific file because I'm triggering that from a external source right so that's why I'm not picking any specific form files so that's why whenever you want to handle such kind of situations you can write a specific file to achieve your task so if I check my this cache let me see this so if nothing is here, nothing is here. And even if you check the logs, see all these has been touched, right? Touch file this and this thing. What do you mean by touch? We'll talk about that in dispatcher series. So this cache has been cleared now. So I hope you understood if you want to, let's say you are running multiple websites and if you want to clear cache as per your need. So what you can do here is you can write this curl as per your need, make the copy of it and write multiple commands or you can do it in a one go. Just remove everything, all the cache or if you want to do it 
on selection so you can add build parameters as well so we'll talk about that later so that way you can write curl and using curl you can clear your cache right i'll leave this curl in description for your reference i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment